Jamie here, Jamie here. Hope everyone's doing outstanding. May 30th, around the new hour, noon hour. Just gonna be really quick. Talk about Dell and HPQ. HPQ is on a tear after its earnings yesterday after the close up nearly 17%. But I just want to do some comparison. So I you know I was super micro was running back at uh March, April of, of 2024 at the start of the year, and I was looking for somewhat of a sympathy play. And sure enough, there was Dell, right? So Dell was sitting at like 110, 110 uh, well, actually it was, it was lower than that. It had its earnings at the start of March, spiked up to 130, fell all the way back to, to I think it was 108, 108, 109. And then I started to, it started to catch my attention. Got some calls, played some, some of the moves to the upside. I think it hit 135 or so, back and forth, uh, made some money, but now, after some of the hype is coming to, to Dell, it's time to look at a possible another sympathy name. So I was looking at HPQ. So I just want to do some co comparisons. And, you know, Dell reports after the close today, the premiums are nuts. I mean, the stock is down nearly 6% reversed from, from the 180s um, in the, in the pre-market. But HPQ is up, you know, so is it yeah 17% right now? I think there's more room to the upside. So, you know, first I've posted these charts. Before today, HPQ has been pretty much flat for the last two years. And that's including dividends, stock buybacks, all that stuff. And it's not a sexy name. And Dell wasn't a sexy name 12 months, you know, a year and a half ago. Dell was a was under 50 bucks last June, right? So a, pretty much a year ago, it was, it was a 50 bucks, a little more than where HPQ is trading right now. And then finally, people came to the realization, hey, there's more to this story than just their business computers, business monitors, all, you know, laptop, all the fun stuff. It's the AI spin. And then once the video really started to catch fire and then you, you heard of uh, some the partnerships and things like that, then Dell really took off. And I look at HPQ and I'm not saying it's a similar, it's going to have the similar run or it's a similar story, but I think none of it has really been baked in besides what's going on today. And I think it has room to, to 50 or 60. So if you look at comparisons and the comparisons, one would be the market cap. So right now, Dell, and I, I mean, I haven't refreshed, but it's a, it's about a $120 billion company. A couple of weeks ago, it was under $100 billion. Um, on the flip side, D HPQ, which was lower than what it is right now, but it's a $37 billion company. HPQ does fifty, nearly $53 billion in revenue, so it trades less than one times revenues, when Dell, on the flip side, trades almost one and a half times revenue. So $119 billion market cap, $88 billion in revenues. The, the thing about both these names is that Dell has had pretty much flat revenues for the last uh, three or four years. So right right now, so this this year, $88 billion in revenues, it did $86 billion in revenues in, in 2021. So, and then worse yet, in 2023, it did $102 billion in revenues. Dell did. So it's not, it's not a bad thing for Dell. I'm just, in comparison, you look at HPQ, it's a similar story. HPQ has had declining revenue over the last couple, declining revenues over the last couple of years. And I think that's some of the reason why the, the stock has been stuck in a rut. And this earnings report, and I think the next quarter will probably push it out of that rut. Then you look at the fundamentals and similar stories. So D Dell, before uh, the last couple of weeks, it was under $100 billion mar market cap, but it had $26 billion in debt. It does have $7.37 billion in cash. So that kind of offsets it. And, and similar with HPQ, HPQ has $9.6 billion in, in debt, $2.4 billion in cash. The difference is HPQ has a dividend, a buyback stock. Um, and I think, I mean, they're both positioned to do well, but I, but if you look at the runs, I mean, HPQ is up 200%, 200% over the last a few years. HPQ is pretty much flat. So I think there's a room, there's room for some outperformance for HBQ. And it's not that HBQ is a, it's not a sexy story. It's not, you know, uh, it's not super micro. It's not, it's not NVIDIA, but I think it's, it's flown under the radar. And I think there's an opportunity that this trades, if, even if it trades where, where Dell is trading. So Dell is 1.4, 1.5 times revenues. You start looking at HBQ and that you would think is $75 billion company. If it's $75 billion company, it's a 70 five eighty dollar stock and that probably is going to happen very quickly so um i'm not going to rant too much more about that i'll probably have it on the watch list or maybe i'll do a quick post on it but i i think there's a there's more to to this run it's not uh and maybe there'll be pullbacks there'll be ups and downs similar to dell dell shook shook me out plenty of times 
But I think if you look at HPQ, I think it's going to be 50, 55, 60 bucks in the, in the coming months. And maybe it's before the end of the year, 70, 75. So that's my rant. Just want to get that off my chest. The more I'm, I start digging in, the more I'm like, wow, this is probably going to keep going. And uh, still have my inexpensive strikes. I have uh, July 38s. I added August 40s. At some point, I look to lock some of the August 40s in as well. And I might look for some end of year strikes. Um, you know, again, it's not like it's not a it's not a sexy growth story. It's not, you know, the it's not a new FDA approved drug. It's not in the GLP one space. But I what I do think it's overlooked, right? And I think today is finally putting the attention on the stock. And I've put it on the watch list the last couple of days. That and I'm not calling it the the mini Dell or the mini uh, Super Micro or whatever, but um, I I just think it's it's another name that's going to follow in the footsteps of being underappreciated by analysts, and then those analysts are going to play catch up. Uh, this morning, you take a look at the upgrades on HPQ and they've 35, 36, 37. The stock's trading at 38, 45 here. I think it's going to continue to head higher, and these analysts are going to have to reset their expectations. Anyway, that's it, folks. I'll be I'll be on the on audio later for uh, an afternoon rant. Just want to get that off my chest. Let's have a great day, folks. Arr